I still remember our first summer together. We would hop on Skype after work and just talk for hours. I knew I loved you then, but it was also that summer that I realized that if I couldn't go a summer without holding you or a day without seeing you, then I knew I couldn't go the rest of my life without you being the one by my side. You've opened my eyes to the most wonderful life I could have ever imagined. You've grounded our relationship in faith. You've taught me that love is meant to be celebrated, that the best medicine in life is laughter and Hawaiian pizza, <laughs> and that as long as we have each other, we will always have more than enough. When we were younger Emily, you're the most amazing, smart, beautiful woman and I am so excited to go on this journey together with you. When I'm with you, I feel so loved, so empowered, so confident and supported. I love how we never go a night without a tuck-in, how we both need our Thai food and cuddles on the couch with Callie. Um, and I love how you make me want to be a better person in every every way as a best friend, as a husband, and hopefully one day as a father. I see the most beautiful future because it's just you and I. And now here we stand moments from embarking on this journey together. I am overwhelmed with excitement and joy for what's to come to begin our life together as a team. And as I commit my love and my life to you, I know there's no one else I want to give everything I have and everything I am to. Jeremy Gavin, I've spent my whole life imagining this day. The beautiful wedding, the white dress, the flowers, and all the little details. But the one thing I never was able to fully picture was who would be the man at the end of the aisle. But I didn't know that day we were re reconnected was that the man in the Hawaiian shirt and straw hat driving the big red minivan <laughs> would be the man at the end of the aisle that I'm blessed to spend forever and always with. On this special day, I promise to always make you feel valued and important. I promise to love you unconditionally forever and always and to show you that each day. Well, it may have only taken me a few weeks, 21 days, to say I love you. <laughs> it's something six years later that has never changed and just grown stronger. You are the most wonderful man in the whole world, and I cannot wait to grow our family together, grow old in our rocking chairs together, and spend every day laughing with you. Protect one another, trust one another, continue to hope for one another, persevere together. As the two of you come together, uniting in this marriage as husband and wife, and as you this day affirm your faith and your love for one another, I ask that you always remember to cherish the gifts that both of you bring. May you always love one another, and may you constantly see the graciousness of God in your life.
reflects just another step in the love that you have for each other. Today reflects the joy that all of us here take in celebrating a wonderful marriage. And today reflects the two of you bring those American char amazing characteristics to the relationship. Our friendship has grown from being not just sisters, but being friends. And I can't express how much I value the friendship that we've built over our lifetime, and I cannot get through many of life's challenges, big or small, without you. Over the years, as I've gotten to know Jeremy and see him and Emily's relationship grow, I can truly say that they are the perfect pair for each other. I truly make my sister the happiest person. You are loving, loyal, sweet, and kind, and everything you could have hoped for in a brother and son. It takes finding the right person or the right woman to make you know, us immature guys like Jeremy and I kind of grow up. And, uh, you know, I think it was awesome to see, though, because when you brought Emily back to meet us for some Washington sports event where we probably lost in the playoffs, you know, back in June, maybe they were Cavs game or something. Uh, it was just really cool to see that you're finding the right person for you, you know, made you embark on a new journey to kind of you know, adulting. You know, that's the beauty about love, you know, true love and you know, I think Pastor Tim said it while we were praying with the guys today. Uh, he said, I hope your wedding is a great day, but it's not going to be the best day of your life. Because the best days of your life are after this.